Hey guys, for today's video, I wanted to share with you what I actually used in my hospital bag. If you guys have not seen that video, I can link it down below, but <laughs> I definitely overpacked my hospital bag and it is crazy the difference between what I packed and what I actually used and so I thought it would be helpful to share with you guys if you've seen that video or if you haven't I'm going to kind of explain what I did pack and then what I actually used and hopefully you can find this helpful because I did know going into it I'm overpacking but I really overpacked. So I wanna share with you guys the must-have essentials that I actually used in my hospital bag and that I think would be really helpful for you if you're gonna give birth soon or if you're pregnant now or if you're just curious. Um, this was really helpful for me to see other people's and everyone said, I overpacked, you don't need this, you don't need this, and I still packed it. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I used and exactly what I think you need. I have a list on my phone from I watched through my video, I saw what I packed, and I wrote down, okay, out of this group of things, this is what I actually used. I'm gonna start with what I packed for me. So in the video, I talk about all these different outfit options <laughs> that I brought. Now, I was in the hospital for 24 hours. That's, that's what they keep you for. Unless you have a C-section or some type of complication, typically it's about 24 hours. So I didn't need a million outfit choices. Now the reason I brought so many was because I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna feel like wearing, if I'm gonna want tight stuff, loose stuff, t-shirt. Mm -mm. Let me tell you, I wore my black Target nightgown like the whole time. That's what I wore. I wore the hospital gown when I gave birth and then for quite a while afterwards. And then I changed into a different bra and my nightgown and I literally wore that until we left the hospital. So I brought t-shirts and long sleeves and tank tops and sweaters and all this stuff. No, no, no. I literally wore pajama, button up, it was easy to nurse, it was comfortable, it was loose, it was easy. I highly recommend bring one of those. You can get them at Target, Nordstrom, all over. I'll link the one that I like. Super cheap and amazing. And then I had a couple of bras. I brought like bralettes and regular bras. I wore a bra during delivery and then I changed out of it to a different bra. And that was it. I wore that. And then when I left, I wore leggings, a nursing tank, and a sweater. So you really only need something comfy for the hospital and something comfy for when you leave. I didn't need a million things. I didn't ever change except for to leave. That's what I recommend. And then I wore my slippers. I didn't even really wear socks. I brought like grippy socks and fuzzy socks and I just wore slippers or I was in bed. So it's up to you, but honestly, the clothing, I went way overboard and you just don't need that much stuff, especially if you're only there for a day. If you're there for three, four days, that's different. But for me, I wasn't there very long. So that's what I used for my own clothing. Now, for baby girl stuff, this was the main part that I overpacked for. So this is what we used for her. I did use her baby blanket that I brought. I think it's really nice to have something from home that's washed and clean that they're gonna use at home that you can feel snuggly and not just like the hospital stuff. So I really did like having her baby blanket and we did wrap her up in that right away. I am happy that I brought multiple sizes of clothes for her. I brought a couple of sleepers in different sizes. One thing I would say that you don't need, I didn't need long sleeves, short sleeves, this and that and that. I needed a couple of sleepers. They're newborns, they're gonna want long sleeves regardless, even if it's hot outside. I feel like at least from, I don't know, I just feel like they don't really need to be in short sleeves if they're a newborn. So you don't need to bring all that. Maybe if it's like 100 degrees, I don't know. But I brought a newborn size and a zero to three of a sleeper and I'm really happy I did that because she had really long legs but she was still really small. So newborn fit her body, but her legs were too long. So when I put her in the newborn, it's like she couldn't stretch her legs all the way. So then we put her in the zero to three and it was baggy on her, but her legs fit. So I was really happy 
and then I brought multiple sizes and I would recommend that because it's hard to know exactly what size your baby's gonna be, if they're gonna be tall, short, whatever it may be. I am happy I brought some mittens. I brought the little baby mittens and we put those on her right away. Those were really nice to have and a lot of times sleepers have them built in that you can just like put the flap over. But having a couple of onesies, a blanket, and some mittens for her was awesome. I did bring a pacifier and we didn't use it, but I wanted to say a lot of people do use it in the hospital, so that could be something that I think could be useful if you're planning on doing that. We used it like a week later at home, but I mean, it's up to you. That's something that I could see someone needing at the hospital if you choose to use it. I brought it, but we didn't end up using it. And then I actually do think it's nice to have packed diapers and wipes. Now they do provide you that at the hospital and you don't need a ton of that. They had pampers and like nice stuff at the hospital, but when we were packing up to leave and the nurses were gone and all of our supplies were gone out of the room, she pooped right when we were gonna load her up in the car seat to go home. And so we needed, like yes, we could have gone and asked a nurse for a diaper, but it was nice that we had some wipes and some diapers in the hospital bag that we could quick change her before heading out and we didn't have to go get someone. So that was something that I thought was helpful. You don't need a ton and you can just go ask someone and they do give you like a little bit of diapers and wipes while you're there and we used that. But it was nice that when we were like packing up to leave and everyone was out of the room, we could just change her with what we had. So I found that helpful. And that's really all I used for her. Now I brought her nameplate, I brought her going home outfit for like the pictures I didn't take her like announcement photo with her nameplate till we got home so it depends what you want to do if you want to do it in the hospital if you want to take photos in the hospital we really didn't do any of that we just took like regular pictures on our phone we didn't do like a photography shoot in the hospital or anything like that so I actually didn't even use her nameplate I didn't use her going home outfit I put her in all that and set all that up at home in her bassinet so it's up to you but I personally we're only there a day so to me just doing it at home was easier I could have a little cute bassinet like that's what we ended up doing so I didn't even really need that and then another thing that I did bring is her baby book and we didn't end up needing that because they put I wanted her footprints because they put there's like a little footprint page in the baby book but what they do is they put it on a separate sheet and you put it in the baby book so I didn't end up actually needing that but I thought that was a nice idea to bring because they might actually put their foot directly in the book for you or things like that so you could have that with you but also you don't have to then the last kind of section was toiletries for me. So I didn't actually even take a shower at the hospital, but I did soak in a bath. So I was only there for 24 hours and honestly so much of that was just in the bed recovering, snuggling my baby, like learning to breastfeed, resting in between. Um, I did have an epidural so I couldn't just like get up and walk around for a while and I had a lot happening after birth. I had quite the recovery to make. So I was not, it wasn't easy for me to just get up and walk around and do things. So I was resting a lot of the time. Now, if I would have been there another day, I definitely would have showered at the hospital. But because we were only there 24 hours, I was like, you know what? I just want to soak in the bath. And then I wanna take a shower at home, like with all my stuff in my own shower, in my home. So I didn't use shampoo, body wash, any of that shower stuff that I brought, uh, but you might. That is something, I mean, that you can definitely use if you do take a shower, but because it was so short, I didn't need any of the shower stuff I brought. I did use a brush, I did pack a brush, and. Let me tell you, my hair has never been so matted. I had it up in a bun when I was giving birth and pushing. And from all of the like pushing, and I had an epidural, so they had to like move me different positions. And from all of that, my hair was one huge mat. And it took me probably 10 minutes to brush out my hair. So I actually really loved having a brush to just try and, you know, get all those knots out, feel a little more human afterwards. And then I did bring some contacts 
and a toothbrush, toothpaste, ponytails, deodorant, and I did use skincare. So I didn't use makeup, I didn't use any excess anything. I basically, I remember um, after I had given birth and we were settled and it was time to go to bed, I went in and I wiped my face with a, a makeup wipe, I used some cleanser, I put on my skincare, my chapstick, I took my contacts out, I did glasses, like I just got comfy, put some deodorant on, like wiped myself down, um, and I liked having a ponytail and brushing my teeth, but that was it. I never put makeup on, nothing. So it's up to you. If you're gonna take photos or whatever, you might want makeup, but for me, oh my gosh, I was just recovering, soaking in the snuggles, and we took photos when we got home. So I basically did skincare, brushed my hair, brushed my teeth, and put my hair in a ponytail, and that's all the toiletries I needed. And then for actually giving birth, I found these few items that I packed really helpful. So I brought essential oils. I used those so much. I got very nauseous. I was throwing up, it was a whole thing. So I liked having my essential oils to smell, um, to have lavender and peppermint and stress away was really awesome. Also the portable fan, a thousand percent recommend. I will link it below, it's from Amazon, it's cheap. It is amazing. I was so hot. Ben would just hold the fan and I would just, and when he wasn't holding it, it can set up, it has little legs. And I would just set up the fan and have it blowing on me constantly. Just make sure you bring the charger because depending on how long your labor is, mine died and I needed to plug it in. But a thousand percent bring one of those. The Vava light, I actually have it right here. I'll just show you. This light, this might be the one that's dead. I actually have two. But this Vava light you can get on um, Amazon. It's so awesome. You just tap it and it turns on and you press it and it goes lower. You hold it and it goes brighter. You can't really see because of the lighting in here, but you can have it be this orange color. It does not show up orange on camera right now, but it's like this really warm orange tone and then you can make it whiter and brighter and you can dim it and it's so nice to have because when you're trying to feed your baby and it's you don't want to just like flip a light on but you need to see all you have to do is grab this and just do do and it turns on it turns up. it's so easy to use it's dimmable i have two of these at home i keep one in our room one in the nursery so it's nice because you can use it afterwards same with that fan i use it on her stroller now and it's just awesome but this vava light is one thing i would recommend to every every single new mom it is amazing it is perfect for those late night feeds changes we use this for her nighttime routine i'll put the um the little light in her room and just have it dim so after her bath when we're putting all her oil and stuff on then it's just calming so i think that is amazing to have for multiple uses but that was awesome for the hospital and then the last thing is the freedom on peri bottle i did use they give you a little almost like those old-fashioned ketchup bottle type things and honestly i didn't think they were as bad as everybody said but i think it might have been the way my tears were i was able to kind of use that and it was fine but i think it depends on how your recovery is if that sh like direction will work because <laughs> it's more of like you just squeeze it down so for me i didn't feel like it was as bad as everybody said but if you have different types of tears and things or different areas that need whatever it might not be as helpful if that makes sense but i did bring the freedom mom little peri bottle because it has the spout that goes down and up so when you hold it it can spray upwards which was awesome and i recommend that to everyone it's like a 15 dollar thing i did not use the whole bundle they have like all this stuff these big packages of like ice packs and wipes and sprays and all this stuff and i did get that for Afterwards, and maybe I'll do a postpartum video just of all my essentials but in the hospital they've got everything they've got everything you need they have creams they have wipes they have sprays they have everything that you need in the hospital so I would just recommend the peri bottle because that is something that's kind of lacking at the hospital but other than that they've got you covered that's what I use at the hospital just a quick overview I wore a nightgown I changed bras 
and I wore leggings and a tank and a sweater to leave. That's all I needed. Baby girl had a couple outfits, her blanket, some mittens, and that's like all she really needed. And then I used some skincare, toothbrush, brushed my hair, had essential oils, my fan. I didn't use headphones. I had so much that I brought and I didn't need so much of it. I mean, everybody's birth story is different and hospital experience is different. But for me, I felt like I prepared for like this extensive stay and all this stuff. And really, you're just so preoccupied with pushing a baby out and getting through this process that I didn't need a million things. So that's what I found really helpful. We also, one more thing, we did bring snacks and drinks and that's really awesome to have some stuff for before you're not allowed to eat and afterwards and then just for your husband because your husband is going to need something they're there forever with you so a pillow and a blanket for your husband and um, maybe some headphones for them something to keep them busy when you're resting but yeah that's all we really needed I definitely overpacked so I hope that this video can help you if you're a new mom and you're wondering what to pack that's what I found really helpful. That's it though. I hope you guys like this video. I will link everything down below in the description box, especially that fan. You need that fan. So I will link everything. You can find it there. If you're not following me on Instagram, I would love to have you there. It's just Rachel Freebie underscore. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.